Crackalack and Literary Geeks, I know that it is somewhat already into 2019, but you know what? I need to put this out onto the internet so I hold myself accountable. a big thing in the new year is to make resolutions and what you're going to change what you're going to do for the next coming up year so i feel like i should share my bookish resolutions with all of you because i really want to do these things but i need somebody to yell at me to make sure they get done number one is probably the the one that i want to do the most and that is to actually use goodreads fellow word nerd kelly has gotten on my case about this for like three years now and it's just, I don't know, it's something that I don't really use. I like look up books and that's kind of it. Like I'll go to Twitter if I want reviews. I will post all my reviews on my blog. Like I won't actually go to Goodreads and use anything, but I want to track some stuff this year. I want to see how many books I read. I want to see like what other people think of my books. So Goodreads is gonna be number one. And actually I will leave my Goodreads link down below because I have one, I just don't use it. So then you can be my friend and make sure that I'm posting stuff. My second resolution is to read more nonfiction. I am not a nonfiction kind of girl. Give me the fantasy, give me the swords and the wars and the dragons and the demons, like fairies, give me all that stuff. But there are more books now specifically about certain things that I want to learn about or certain people that I do find interesting that aren't straight autobiographies or like great feminist books that I really want to read and like get you know, be a part of that culture. So read more nonfiction is going to be very high up there on the list. Although looking at my TBR pile right now, there is no nonfiction on it. So that needs to be solved first. Number three is going to be the hardest to do, and that is to stop impulse buying books. I am extremely guilty of judging books by the cover. Plus I work in a bookstore, so I always see all the new things. And I'm like, that looks cool. I'm gonna buy it. And not only have I wasted a ton of money, I also don't read half of them. Like I'm looking at my pile right now and there are books there from like two years ago or more that I was really excited about or was like, that looks cool, I guess I'll get it and haven't read it. So I'm just wasting my time, I'm wasting my money. So this year I wanna do more research about a book before I go and get it, you know? Unless like I absolutely know that that author is an auto buy, like I need to know more about it, hence, Goodreads. Number four is to post more book reviews and I do have a blog, I will link that down below because I like doing that and part of my sort of job is to do that as well because like I work with publishing companies, they send me free books, I give them reviews, it's a great relationship but I want to do more of that because I feel like I can articulate better and speak more about something in depth if I put it on a blog post instead of a YouTube channel where everything has to be short and sweet. And lastly, number five, I think I can do, I'm gonna challenge myself to do that, and that is to every month read at least one, but possibly two books from my old TBR pile. Because you see, the first shelf, and I say shelf in my TBR bookcase, the first shelf is like advanced copies and like stuff that I have to read right away, like the most exciting things, the things that I'm getting sent stuff to send, that's number one. And then from that point onward, it's just like stuff that I impulse bought or stuff that like I'll read eventually or like books that are, you know, I got in the bargain bin and I'm like, well, maybe I should read that, you know? So like that's that. So every month I want to read at least one of those so I'm not just constantly cycling out of this one shelf. So those are my five bookish resolutions for 2019. Please leave your own down below and then, you know, we can, uh, we can constantly remind each other of things that we need to do and better ourselves as people. Make sure to tune into our live chat this Sunday at 7.30 Eastern Standard Time here on YouTube and I will hopefully see you guys all there. Have a good week!